Well, I'll tell you what, I was I was in the first year group ever to take GCSEs. No, sorry, that's a lie. The second year group that ever to take GCSEs at school. So, yeah, I remember them. Right, okay, we are in space. We have gone up to about 100,000 meters there. We're currently 80,000, but we're going to go up to 100. So if we look at the map now, um, basically the thing we need to do is circularize here. So we, if, what we need to do is go up to our highest point and just add some power and eventually we'll adopt the li where the dotted line is, which will push it into a circle. But what I'd like to do is set it up so we catch up with this spaceship. So I'm thinking if we add a little bit more power we may actually get into a situation where we have an encounter. I don't think we're going to get it. Let's try a little bit earlier. Let's just have a look here. No, we're not going to get one this rotation, are we? So do it like that and that will mean that we're traveling slightly slower, which is not what we want. So let's do it the other way around. Let's travel slightly faster and see if we can catch up with it. So the way we do this is we change um, where we are in our orbit. If we if our orbit is smaller, so we're traveling faster, we'll catch up with it. If our orbit is larger, so we're traveling sl uh, slower, it will ca eventually catch up with us. So let's get that. Okay, that's that is 62. That's too low. So let's try to circularize that a little bit. Nearly there. Just need to get that over 70k. There we go, that's good. Right, so that's um, our potential orbit set up. And let's. Okay, let's do that and see how much work we have to do here. So, right, in. That that burn will be in two minutes and forty nine seconds. We need to burn for forty three seconds. So what we'll do is we will start a little bit before, and we'll burn a little bit after. So we'll start about twenty seconds before, and burn through to about twenty seconds after. Now what I'm doing is I'm turning the ship towards the point of burning, which is that uh, that blue icon on the nav ball at the bottom here, and. Yeah, are you going to stop? You're not going to stop, are you? Okay, and we don't actually have to burn all that much to get this orbit. So you see, we need to burn 180 meters a second of delta V, which is, delta V is um, is measured in the the amount of increase or decrease in speed that a burn is. One sec, do I need a, t a drink? Should I have tea or coffee? Well, that's a choice up for you, but personally, I would drink coffee or green tea myself. So let's just get us pointed in the right direction, which we shall do eventually. God, this does not want to turn this thing. Perhaps I should have tried this beforehand, but hey, I was playing Elite Dangerous instead. So let's speed up a little bit. Speed up time a little bit, and we'll burn at about 20 seconds so four three two one okay so let's go back to normal time we will be burning in 15 seconds time and we will be burning for about 43 seconds there we go we are properly lined up and it's coming up nearly to launch time do i know what kool-aid is yes i i've i've heard of it i've never tried it 24, 23, 22, 21, burn! So, there we go. We're just doing a last little burn now. If you watch this blue line, it's slowly going to get wider and wider. 
and eventually it will loop all the way around here so it won't be touching the planet which means this won't crash back into the planet and die which is probably a good thing I would say so let's just watch that happen there you see that blue line is getting wider and wider which is a good thing let's have a quick look at our fuel and we've got plenty of fuel there well, I think we should be good our blue line is almost meeting around the other side here okay so our periapsis our lower point is you know, 20,000 we need to get that over 70 we're aiming for 73 but 71 will do so let's just just keep following that line and burn 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 2, 3, nearly there. G, 71, 72, 73. There we go. Right, excellent. We are in space. Okay, both our lowest point of orbit, which is 74 kilometers, and our highest point of orbit, which is 107 kilometers, are both above 70 kilometers and that means we are safely in space now the next thing we need to do is line ourselves up with the space station and the best place to do that is where we in, where they intersect and if you look at the blue and the yellow lines they intersect here at the ascending node so we shall put in a maneuver there and what we need to do is straighten our, co our course out so that we're flying on the same plane as it is. So if you look at the dotted line, which is our projected course, it's now more or less level with where we want to go. So just line that up a little bit. Try that the other way. There we go, that actually looks pretty good. Yep, we'll go with that. Okay, so that is another short burn, 115.1 meters per second. Uh, so we need to get where we uh, are pointing in the right direction and that will be a 26 second burn, which will happen in a little over four minutes. So first of all, that's get pointing in the right direction and then we will speed up time and do the burn hello Chelsea we are playing Kerbal Space Program as voted for by the people who do the votes um, yeah there is this is Kerbal Space Program I can guarantee you there are plenty of plenty of opportunities for things to explode do not worry, I, 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 there's, I'm pretty certain we will blow something up tonight if probably just testing the next design or something like that. Okay, it just, it happens an awful lot. And as a Kerbal Space Program player, you just have to accept the fact that your designs will occasionally go boom. So there we go, we're lined up. So our next burn, so now we just speed up time a little bit. We need this to burn at about 13 seconds, so... Let's just run this forward a little bit. And we'll take it from up. Super Red Nova, hello, how are you doing? Okay, so coming up to well coming up to a minute and a half. Get through a minute. There we go. Slow this down. And then speed it up again. Right, there we go. So 20, we'll burn it 13. So 17, 16, 15, 14, ignition. And we shall burn until that line get the that line gets down to zero. And we'll go and have a quick look at the map then and see how good our course looks and how likely we are to connect up with the uh, the space station. Oh dear, you spilt oh dear, you spilt your tea. That's not good. I hope you haven't hurt yourself. Alright. 
The Vordier is expecting the boom. The boom will happen. I can more or less guarantee you that. But uh, I, 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 I'll blow my own trumpet. I'm fairly good at this game, but I blow loads and loads of stuff up. There we go. We're at half a meter a second out. So let's get rid of that. And now, if you look, the blue and the yellow lines from the side are more or less even. So we are on a parallel course. And now what we need to do is get these intersections down as closely as possible. And that would be a good place to start looking at that. I'm thinking here perhaps. Right, so there we go. So we'll add a maneuver there and see what happens if we change the power. So if we speed things up, right, doesn't matter. We're not going to get an intersect easily, so let's get rid of that. Let's try another one. And let's add another maneuver node and let's see what happens if we slow things down a little bit. Now, those two seem to be getting close together, but I think, to be totally honest with you, yeah, if we try doing that, we're going to crash into the planet and explode, which is not a good one. Um, so let's try a different angle here. Let's try here. Let's see what happens if we create a maneuver node here. And what happens if we accelerate a bit here? Okay, that one actually looks like it might be catching up, but we're probably going to have to burn an awful lot to do it. Yes, there you see. So if we burn 377.6 meters a second at that point, the next time round we will intersect and we will be six kilometers apart from each other. However, we will have to slow down that much as well. This means, well, let's have a quick look at our spaceship and see if we've got enough fuel to do that. So let's look at Kerbal Engineer here. So the vessel has two stages in it. The first one has 596 meters per second in it and the second one has 5755 meters per second in it. So we actually have plenty of Delta V which is um, uh, which means we can probably get there. So let's give it a try shall we? Uh, can we call the second station Marvin? I don't see any reason why we couldn't call the second station Marvin. That sounds like a, a marvelous idea. Let's do that, shall we? Right, so. You guys remind me, alright? So. There we go. It's finally loaded up. Okay, let's take a moment to admire this part of the space station. Okay, so. This big orange thing here is a fuel canister and these things on it are docking ports. Now what we want to do is dock the rest of the station on this and then we've got all these other different docking ports floating around for things there are other things to dock onto and then they can then refuel out of this tank and move on. That's going to be the plan. Um, so let's get ourselves pointing in the right direction. We've got 10 minutes to do it so there's no particular rush but as soon as we get pointed in the right direction, we can speed up time. We don't have to wait 10 minutes. Uh, effectively, we're just joining two pieces of space station together. And, uh, well, hopefully. Um, the alternative thing here is we explode stuff. Which I, I think, by the sounds of it, the Vordier is probably going to prefer. But... Right, so we're almost pointing in the right direction. A little bit more. A little bit more. Just lining up with that blue dot on the nav ball at the bottom there. There we go. Right, so let's speed up time here a little bit. Right, and right, we need to. We, this is a one minute 21 second burn, so we basically need to burn it 40 seconds. And that will get us on our way. 
Uh, we'll stop it about two minutes. Three, two, there we go. Right. And let's get ourselves aligned properly again, because as we drift around the planet, we, we drift slightly off course. Like that. And let's get to about 40 second burn. 50, okay, uh, bang, okay, that's good enough, right. <laughs> um, bit late, we are playing a Kerbal Space Program. Uh, we're in the process of taking this bit of a space station up to the rest of the space station, which, um, by popular demand, where is it? By popular demand, the space station is called. Yeah, I can't see it for looking. Where is it? Oh, there it is. It is Station Baron Humbert von Gichigen. Gichigen. Sounds like a Gelf. So. Not Bob. As voted for people, it was not Bob. So just for to get people up to speed, okay, our spaceship is traveling around the planet along this blue line and we're thrusting to make this blue line go up to this dotted line here, okay, which means um, we will travel around here. This will take us quite some time to do, uh, but the space station we want to uh, connect with is traveling around this yellow line here and it will travel much faster but eventually when we get around here um, the space station if all goes well should be in more or less the same location which is going to make it far easier for us to uh, to dock with it and in fact possible for us to dock with it because if it's not in the same location it's very hard to do so so we just burn out here and after we've picked up all this speed we're going to have to slow down as well, which is, you know, a great idea, I think. And actually, I've just had an idea. Right, and once I've got this little bit of burn done, I will tell you what it is. It might be a stupid idea, but it's an idea. Six, five, four, three, two, one. I'm almost there. That blue line is almost on par. 16, 15, 14, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. There we go. Right. We are very, very close. That is good enough. Let's get rid of that. So there we go. Okay. So that's that. The blue line is where we're traveling around. And. When we get to this point here, the space station will be this point. It's going to be 28 kilometers away from us, but I think we can actually live with that. Let's just try something here. Use a little bit of there we go. So let's just tie a tiny little bit of thrust, and let's just see if we can get that intersection any closer. Three, two, one. Seventeen, sixteen. There we go. We're just getting very close now. Four, three, two, one. Okay, so there we go. Right at the closest point, we're going to be about half a kilometer away and so when we get around to about here we're going to have to start slowing down all right so what we'll do then is we will slow down at this point and get as close as we can to the space station and eventually dock with it and we will then have instead of a one-piece space station we'll have a two-piece space station Okay, so that's the plan.